Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. I hope you guys are liking this uh, interview uh, tip series. This is the second video of uh, interview tip series. So the first video, I hope that you must have seen. And then uh, today we are going to talk about one important thing, especially one tip that I really wanted to give it to you with respect to automation. Whenever you are uh, too good in automation, then we have a problem. The one problem that even I was also facing the same problem that uh, I don't give the value of other testing activities, or you can say manual testing or functional testing that I used to uh, say that, no, uh, why you want to write the test cases? That's not my job. You guys do it or manual team will do it or something like this. That's actually a bad attitude. We should not have it. So that's the same advice that I really wanted to give it to you that whenever you're going for the interview, that's a bad impression. If you're saying that, no, that's a bad attitude. It shows that you are looking for only and only for automation jobs or only automation work or only automation tasks. Otherwise, I'm not bothered about the domain knowledge, the product knowledge or other manual testing. I'm not here for writing the test cases in the Excel sheet or quality center or Zira. That's not my uh, my job that should be done by some other team. I'm here only and only for the automation uh, automation task. No, that's a wrong attitude. Every end of the day, every automation SDET or QA guy, or we all are the QA. We all are the testers. End of the day, we have to perform the testing. We cannot automate everything every day, every hour, every second. It's not like that. The product knowledge is very, very important. If you don't understand the product, if you don't have any knowledge about the functionality that how exactly the the behavior of the application and the new features the new uh in the sprint how many new user stories are there if you are not bothered about it if you are not aware of it then how can you automate also this is just like okay yeah somebody is uh, giving you some number of steps and you are just writing the code against it then i can just give this task to some other outsourcing company also maybe i can just hire one contractor also that also i can do it but I'm looking for that. You can come to my project, you can join my company, and then you are helping us to solve a specific problem for the customer. And whatever we are implementing it, as a QA guy, I really want to use your mindset, use your testing mindset or your brain to make sure that, okay, we have a, we have a good pro uh, quality product and we are giving the same good quality product to the customer in the production as well. So this is the main idea. This is the main mindset that we all should carry. Fine. Other than that, after that, you can explain about your automation thing and everything, which is absolutely fine. This is a problem that I was discussing with other senior managers or QA managers in my previous companies and in my network also. Everyone is uh, saying the same problem that out of 10 candidates, six, seven candidates are having the same issue, same attitude problem that uh, they are really good in technical automation things and everything, but they actually not connected with the roots of the QA. So that is the main thing, especially in the manager round or in the director round or your senior manager or VP or CTO, they are taking you around. They will check this particular mindset that how concerned you are for the QA activities or QA point of view or testing point of view. Testing is one of the hardest tasks I'll tell you or toughest task I'll tell you in the software engineering. Testing is not that easy. You know, you have to think like a customer or a customer point of view. You have to talk about and uh, different uh, risk management and uh, different levels of scenarios, positive, negative, edge cases and everything. That's your prime job for a QA. And it's not that easy task. Writing a code and doing some automation and doing development and then writing programming and then coding and everything. It's fine that it's really good, fun. But the challenging work, the kind of work that as a tester that we do, that always is always the toughest part that you have to showcase same thing at a time of interview. Couple of examples, you can give some, uh, you know, TVS project example or current project example that how exactly you improve the process with respect to QA and then you implemented the automation also. So with this tip, with this thing, you are actually adding the flavor of testing plus automation both together. See, this is nothing like manual or automation or something like this. I know a lot of debates are happening around LinkedIn or everywhere, but testing is testing. Either you do it with testing, I mean, with tool or without tool. If you're doing with the with, uh, with tool, then, then we can say, fine, it's an automation testing that I have written some script and then having some checkpoints and everything, doing some automation for that. But 100% automation, obviously we cannot do it. And whatever the new cycles or new features are coming in the new sprint cycle, 
then I'm doing testing for that and making sure that whenever uh, there is a scope of automation, I'm doing automation also and making sure about the quality of the product as well. So this is the important thing that you have to show at a time of interview as well. I'll prepare a separate video, maybe tip number three or four video that I'll prepare that how, what kind of experience you can show in terms of automation, what kind of examples you can show. But this is just a quick tip that I really wanted to give you, especially I've been taking a lot of mock interviews uh, offline and uh, I have I've been like checking the same thing that why you talk about only automation, why your resume reflects only and only automation, why don't you talk about what kind of important things that you have found and how exactly you're going to raise a bug and give me some really good example that you actually found uh, during your testing and everything. Give me some example, show me your testing, show me your testing mindset. But they um, they were not very much bothered about it. And then they said, that, okay, no, I designed this framework, this test NG, Cucumber, Selenium or API automation or whatever that I have used, but I never did uh, proper functionality testing end to end. I haven't uh, got that level of pressure during the regression also, because my job was just to do something in automation and then run it whenever it's required and publishing the report. And that too also not up to the mark. So um, if you really want to impress, uh, these days uh, people are not giving you the money just like that. Obviously, if you really want to have a good package and everything, you have to showcase the overall QA testing mindset along with the proper testing plus some automation knowledge plus tools knowledge or a strategy of automation and everything that also you have to showcase with that tool wise everything we will prepare a separate video for that don't worry about it but i hope you got it what exactly i'm trying to convey through this uh through this video so yeah that's all this is what i have written actually so please implement it and what do you think about this tip what exactly your experience uh, you know at a time of automation interviews or testing interviews, write down in the comment section. Till then, take care and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much.